Magandang buhay po at welcome po muli dito sa aking channel. Ngayon naman po ang aking pong ituturo is how to multiply and divide integers. So ituturo ko po step by step kung paano po magmultiply and magdivide ng dalawang integers na magkapareho ang sign at dalawang integers na magkaiba po ang signs. Okay, so unahin po natin ang multiplication of integers. So ano po yung rules of multiplying integers? First rule. When you multiply two numbers or integers with the same sign, the product is always positive. So, ano po yung sabi niya? Kapag mag-multiply daw po tayo ng dalawang integers na magkapareho ang sign, yung sagot ay always positive. For example, sign po muna ito. Positive times positive is equal to positive. And also, the same sign, negative times negative is equal to positive. So, yun po yung rule number one natin. Rule number 2 natin, when you multiply two numbers or integers with different signs, the product is negative. So kapag magkaiba pong integers na sign ang ating multiply, ay ang sagot natin, ang sign ay negative. For example, positive times negative is equal to negative. So nauna po dyan ang positive. Or, pwede pong magkabaliktad, negative times positive is equal to negative. So always po, Kapag magkaiba ang sign, ang sagot ay negative. Okay, so bago po ako mag-present ng examples, click lamang po ang like and then subscribe na po ninyo pag di po po kayo nakasubscribe dito sa aking channel and notification bell upang sa ganun ay ma-update po kayo sa iba pang video tutorial na aking i-upload sa mga susunod. Okay, so let's try these examples in multiplication of integers. For example, 5 times 3. So both positive. Number 2, Negative 5 times negative 3, both negative. Okay? Number 3, negative 5 times positive 3. So, yung 5 po ay negative, yung 3 ay positive, so magkaiba. Or, pwede pong balik rin yung sign, 5 times negative 3. Okay, tignan po natin kung ano po yung sagot natin. So, ang first step po natin dyan ay multiply po natin yung numbers muna. Disregard natin yung sign. So, for number 1, 5 times 3 is 15. Okay, and sabi natin kanina, ang rule natin, kapag magkapareho ang sign, always positive. Kaya positive 15. For number 2, multiply po natin ulit, 5 times 3 is 15. And then, ano po yung sign ng dalawa? Magkapareho pa, magkaiba. Magkapareho po, ibig sabihin, positive yung sagot natin. So, positive 15. So, for number 3 naman, negative 5 times 3, so magkaiba yung sign. Ano po? Okay, so ibig sabihin, pag magkaiba, Multiply lang natin yung number and then negative always. So, negative 15. Okay? And then also for number 4, 5 times 3 or 5 times negative 3 rather. So, multiply lang natin. 5 times 3 is 15. Magkaiba ang sign kaya negative 15. So, again, for number 1 and number 2, magkapareho ang sign, always positive. And for number 3 and number 4, magkaiba ang sign, always ang sagot ay negative. Okay, so another example to master the lesson, number 6, 8 times 5, that is 40. Anong sign ng sagot natin, positive ba or negative? So positive, kasi yung 8 at 5 ay pareho pong positive. Okay, number 7, negative 6 times negative 4. So multiply lang natin yung integers, 6 times 4 is 24. And then ano yung sign ng dalawa, magkapareho. So kung magkapareho, then positive yung sagot natin, kaya positive 24. Number 8, Negative 7 times 11. So, ano po yung magiging sign ng sagot natin? Yung 7 ay negative, yung 11 ay positive, so magkaiba. So, ibig sabihin, ang sagot natin ay negative. Okay? So, 7 times 11 is 77. So, negative 77. Okay? For number 9, 10 times negative 8. So, ang 10 ay positive, ang 8 ay negative. So, ibig sabihin, magkaiba ang sign, ang sagot ng, o ang sign ng sagot, natin ay negative. So, 10 times 8 is 80. So, negative 80. How about this number 10? 3 times negative 2 times negative 6. Tatlong integers po ang given. So, all you have to do here, multiply po muna natin yung unang 2 integers. So, 3 times negative 2. 3 times 2 is 6. Tapos, magkaiba po yung sign, kaya negative 6. And then, multiply ulit natin yung pangatlong integer na negative 6. So, what is negative 6 times negative 6? Since magkapareho po ang sign, ibig sabihin positive ang sagot natin. So, 6 times 6 is 36. So, positive 36. So, yan po yung sagot sa 3 times negative 2 times negative 6. 
Okay, so how about division of integers? What are the rules of dividing integers? Rule number one. When two numbers or integers with the same sign are divided, the quotient is always positive. So, na pong sinasabi niya, kapag nag-divide daw po tayo ng dalawang integers na magkapareho ang sign, ang sign ng sagot natin, always positive. So, positive divided by positive is equal to positive or negative divided by negative is always positive. So, pareho po ito ng multiplication. Ano po? Rule number 2. When two numbers with different signs are divided, the quotient is always negative. So, pag magkaiba naman po yung sign ang ini-divide natin, yung numerator ay positive, yung denominator ay negative, ang sagot ay negative. And kahit magkabaliktad, yung numerator ay negative at yung denominator ay positive, ang sign ng sagot is always negative. Okay, so let's try to apply the rule in dividing integers. Number one. We divide 15 by 3. Okay? Both positive. Number 2, negative 15 divided by negative 3. We divide both negative. Number 3, negative 15 divided by 3. So, mag-divide tayo ng negative by positive. And number 4, 15 divided by negative 3. So, positive divided by negative. So, let's try. For number 1, pareho pong positive. So, divide lang po natin yung integers. So, what is 15 divided by 3? 5. So, dalaw yung 15 at 3 ay pareho pong positive. Ibig sabihin, ang sagot natin ay positive. Okay? For number 2, negative 15 divided by negative 3. So, i-divide lang natin yung integers. 15 divided by 3 is 5. At ano yung sign ng dalawa? Magkapareho ba? Magkaiba. Magkapareho pong negative. So, positive ang sagot natin. Okay? Number 3, negative 15 divided by 3. So, what is 15 divided by 3? Again, 5. Ngayon, ano po yung sign ng sagot natin? Since magkaiba po yung sign ng dalawa, so negative yung sagot natin. So negative 5. For number 4, 15 divided by negative 3. So 15 divided by 3 is 5. And then magkaiba yung sign, kaya negative 5 ang sagot. Okay, again, notice that number 1 and number 2, pareho pong sign ang i-divide natin, ang sagot ay positive. For number 3 and number 4, magkaibang sign ang dinidivide natin, ang sagot natin ay negative. Okay, so another example to master the lesson. Number 4, how about we write in this way? 24 divided by 6. So what is our answer? So divide lang po muna natin. What is 24 divided by 6? 4. Ano yung sign ng sagot natin? Since pareho pong positive yung 24 at 6, so ang sagot natin ay positive, kaya positive 4. For number 5, Negative 30 divided by 5. So, i-divide po muna natin. What is 30 divided by 5? 6. And then, since magkaiba po yung sign ng dinidivide natin, yung 30 ay negative, yung 5 ay positive, so ang sagot natin ay negative 6. And then, for number 6, negative divided by negative yan. So, negative 49 divided by negative 7. Since pareho pong negative, ang sagot natin dyan ay positive. So, divide po natin yung integers. 49 divided by 7 is 7. So, positive 7 ang sagot Okay, so how about this number 7 example? Okay, so may combination po ng division and multiplication. So, ano pong unang natin isisimplify dyan? Of course, yung division po muna kasi mayroon po siyang close and open parenthesis there. Okay, so what is 81 divided by negative 9? Yun muna ang isisimplify natin. So, 81 divided by 9 is 9. Since magkaiba po yung sign, yung 81 ay positive, yung 9 ay negative, so negative yung sagot natin. Kaya negative 9. And then, saka natin i-multiply sa negative 4. So, again, multiplication. Dalawang sign ang i-multiply natin. Magkapareho. Negative 9, negative 4. So, ang sagot dyan ay positive. So, i-multiply natin. 9 times 3 is equal to 36. So, positive 36 ang ating sagot sa 81 divided by negative 9 times negative 4. Okay. So, how about this activity? Answer the following questions. Number one, what is the product of 5 and negative 7? So, may mga activity din po na nakalagay in word. Ano po? Hindi lang po symbol. Okay, so in symbol, that is 5 times negative 7. Kasi ang tiyatanong po niya ay product. Ano po? So, we are going to apply the rule of multiplication. Magkaiba po yung sign ng 5 at 7. So, ibig sabihin, ang sign ng sagot natin ay negative. So, what is 5 times 7? 35. So, ang sagot natin ay negative 35. 
Okay? For number 2, find the quotient when negative 56 is divided by 8. So, if we're going to write in symbol, negative 56 divided by 8. So, we divide different sign. So, ang sign ng sagot natin ay negative. So, what is 56 divided by 8? 7. So, negative 7 ang ating sagot. Okay, so how about this number 3 question? Perform the indicated operation. 6 times negative 5 divided by negative 10. So, what is our answer? So, how to simplify? Unahin po muna natin itong multiplication. So, 6 times negative 5. So, we are multiplying different signs. So, ang sagot natin ay negative. So, 5 times 6 is 30. So, negative 30. And then, saka natin i-divide yung kasunod na integer, negative 10. So, we are going to divide negative by negative. So, ang magiging sagot natin dyan ay, ano po? Positive. So, 30 divided by 10 is 3. So, positive 3 ang ating pong sagot sa 6 times negative 5 divided by negative 10. Okay, so salamat po sa inyong panood. Kung mayro po kayong katanungan, i-comment lang po sa comment box at hintayin po ninyo yung aking sagot. Be sure lang po na kayo po ay nag-click ng subscribe and notification bell upang sa ganon, ma-receive po ninyo yung notification kapag ako po ay sasagot sa inyong tanong.